Coach, about 20 minutes after the game, I just want to know how you feel about your team's performance. Really, it looked like OL had never dealt with something like that before. Yeah, and I think that, that the performance is more important than the result, and how you just said that is how I feel. Uh, in the first half, what, what Ange Salem, Liv Moultrie, Marissa Everett, and Rocky were doing in the midfield against some of the very, very best in the world. And, and what our team did to put them and pin them in their half um, for the majority of it was, uh, was unbelievable and probably the proudest moment I've had. Second half, uh, yeah, we started to really open them up and get chances. Um, Leon, an uh, unbelievable team with so much talent. Um, I was very, very scared of a number of individuals before the game. During the first half, I was even more scared and our players just stood up to that challenge and collectively planted their, their thorns flag and made sure that they were the dominant team. Let me take you back to some of that scary period, particularly the first 10 minutes when OL was really controlling the game and had your team in a position that we have not seen them in at all during the NWSL season. What changed? What turned this from an OL control game to one that looked a little bit more like Thorn Soccer? Yeah, I think, uh, I think our pressing our energy is always going to be a massive, um, massive strength. And no, I, you've just seen some of the best players in the world can't handle it. Um, and once we get the ball in that area of the field, uh, in our possession and creating chances, it's really hard to get out. And we just hadn't hadn't created the chance yet in the in the opposition's half. Um, but credit to yeah, credit to the talent and Leon have. It's hard. It's really hard. We were going to go through spells. We were going to go through a couple of transitions, counter attacks, Majri, Cascarino. Yeah, it was yeah putting people on skates at times and just hoping that that someone else gets over to help. Um, but I couldn't be proud of this team. It's. I don't want to hear anything more about NWSL being transition and Europe being possession or whatever else because one team was transitioning tonight and it wasn't Ball and Thorns. Coach, this is three trophies in a row for you and this team. For you, it's five trophies and five different trophies during your time here. So put this one into context. What does this one mean in the scope of what else this team has accomplished and you've accomplished here in Portland? This has been a really, really important week uh, in a, a very special year. Every player. Uh, is adding value. Every player is making each other better. Every player is making this team better. And this tournament, every single player played and was massive. Um, players that hadn't played games before, they were lights out against Houston tonight. To be able to welcome some, some family back into this team that we haven't seen for a few months was, was great. So yeah, it's, it's a special night because everyone, everyone contributed. Um, we've got to rest up and get ready for Gotham on Wednesday.